Hey guys, it's Morgan coming to you with the next video in our Building Daisy Backup series or whatever we're calling it. Anyway, the KTM 250 that we're taking all the way down the frame and going back up. So we got the shock done. If you haven't seen that, there'll be a link in the description of this video. Um, that's all rebuilt, refreshed, ready to go. Now it's time to work on the swing arm. So the upside to having a W model KTM is we don't have any linkage bearings to deal with. But there are some bearings on the swing arm. So we got these main swing arm bearings. We also have this heim joint bearing here. Um, so we want to service all those. I felt the swing arm bearings already. They feel pretty good, but we're going to go ahead and take them apart, look at them, and then we're going to clean them up and re-grease them, make sure they're all good to go. The thing about bearings on swing arms, linkages, and things like that, you got to be really careful because they're little loose needle bearings and if you if they're dry at all and you push them out they fall everywhere they you lose them it's a real pain in the butt so we want to be careful as you come apart i kind of just take a look in here and honestly like i said they're looking really really good they're definitely looking a little dry um like they need some uh some new grease but the race here I'll show you that go and take it out we got a nice, you know, place. If they do fall, we're going to find them. But see, that race looks really good. So let's clean that thing up. And once you get cleaned up, you can take a really good look at it. And you can see it's got a little wear, but, man, you can't feel anything. I think it's going to be just fine. Now, we're going to take a look in here at the bearings, and they look good. You can see down in there. Let me see if I can aim that to where you guys can see them. They look good. They're really nice and shiny. So, I'm just going to take some new grease, pack it in there, call it good, and we'll go to the next one. So, I like this stuff, this Motorex, uh, waterproof. It's green, which is kind of cool. <laughs> um... Take a little bit of that. Ah, crashing. We're going to come in here. Now, when I do this, you got to be careful because as you're putting it in there, it's really common for the little needle bearings to try to cling to your hand. So I, what I do is I come in, get some grease on this finger, come in with the grease like this, come in, and then I push to the side and push to the side. The other thing about doing that is you, as you push down, you're pushing that grease into the bearings. So I get that, I get it really nice and greased up and you're going to make a mess. That's where I got gloves on. This is part of the deal. You can't really do this without making kind of a gnarly mess. But you really want to get that grease into the needles, right? So feel pretty good about that. Take our race. Slide that back together. There we go. Now we got our little collars here. We want to clean those up before we put them back in. And all this stuff is going to get super dirty again, obviously, but might as well start with it nice and fresh and clean. There we go. Now, do this other side. Want to inspect that really good. All the way around, looks great. Now, the reason these look good with almost 200 hours on them is this is not the first time I've done this. <laughs> first of all, I did it when I first bought the bike because the manufacturers of these motorcycles, as good as they are, they don't generally put enough grease on the bearings and that's not just KTM it's Yamaha Kawasaki Suzuki everybody oh look see there we go we're getting bearings popping out so that's what happens sometimes see that they stuck to my fingers so you gotta make sure we get those back in their place they came from this side tuck them back in there okay. 
slide our race back in. Clean the little collars off. Sweet. Now, let's take a look at this Heim joint. The thing about Heim joints is they're not really serviceable. <laughs> but you can take them apart and look at them really good. And I actually still like to put a little grease in there. So just got a little punch, nothing crazy. And a little bit of teeny weeny ball pain hammer. There we go. So you can see these have a little bit of rust color on them. I'm going to clean them up. I'm going to check the time joint make sure it's okay. But I think we can put them back in. I think, I think they're actually going to be all right. Feels solid. It moves, still moving a little bit, which is what it's supposed to do. It's so heim joint. It shouldn't move at all like in this plane, but it should wiggle a little bit. That's how a heim joint works. A little bit of brake clean. Take a look in there. Looks pretty good. I think we're going to be all right. Let's see what this side looks like. Here's what I like to do with these. So I've got this penetrating grease. I like to spray it in there. It goes on really thin like you know, aerosol and, it's, and it penetrates like a penetrating lube but then it sets up into a grease. And lots of people make it. I can't find that stuff on Amazon for you guys. I've tried. So sorry about that but um, Worth makes some. There we go. Now it's moving better. Take something, kind of move it around. Spray a little more. That feels good. So I think we're going to be all right. These are not too terribly hard to replace on the bike. So I'm not too worried about doing it preventatively. So, let this take our collars, PDS bike, we're good. All right, so this swing arm, right here, it's all ready to go. Uh, PDS, that's all you got, man. It's just a Heim joint, two swing arm bearings. It's pretty awesome. It's one of the reasons I like PDS bikes. It's just simple, less moving stuff. Super short video. Hope that's helpful. If you guys have any questions, comment below. Shoot me an email, morgan at highland-cycles.com. And I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Hope you spread the gospel of two wheels. And hey, 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 look at that. My buddy Chrysanthemum, he's hiding. Where'd he go? There he is! Chrysanthemum, he really wants to say the dirt bikes, but he won't do it. Dirt bikes. Ah, there we go. I hope you guys get out and ride your dirt bikes! Yeah.